Hi, so we have a triangulation that we're happy with. Um, so let's just take it straight into the Trimble Business Centre and have a look at how we get it saved um, in the correct format so the dozer recognises it. First thing to note is the version of software that I'm using here is most likely going to be um, different to the one that you get your hands on. However, once you find out um, where the menus are, it should be more or less the, the same process. First things first, when you create a new job, is to always go into your project settings. In here, we want to select the default coordinate system. So you'll see WGS 1984 when you first go in here. Just click change. It will then populate the um, a list of coordinate systems. Navigate until you find United Kingdom. And then basically you're either going to be selecting OSTN02 or OSEN15. I know the system and the job that you're on just now is operating on O2, so I'll just leave mine on that. You'll see it will populate in here. Happy with that, it's time to bring in data. You can go into import and go searching for the data to bring it in that way. I find the easiest way is just to drag it into the working space. So we'll do that. I've got the formation model here. Shouldn't take too long to load done. Perfect. So we know we're happy with this after checking it and then force. So let's just get straight to saving it. Export button here. Click on export and it's going to open up this panel down the right hand side. We've got six or seven different tabs here. You may have more depending on what, what version you're running, but we always work in the construction tab. Okay. So there are two files that we want to take out. One is the SVD, which is your surface, and the other one is the SVL, which is your 3D line work. So if we look at the surface first, from this box, you want to scroll down until you find the one called Machine Job Site Design Exporter. Click on that, you'll see Model Type Surface, which is what we want. Um, and then this options button, if you click on that, we're going to select all. When you do that, it highlights the surface. You see there's, there's 13,000 objects in here. And we want to add and then apply them. So click add. Hi, so we have our triangulation that we're happy with. So let's take it straight into Trimble Business Center and see how we go about saving that in a format that the user is going to recognize. So take a note, um, the version of TBC that I'm using here will most likely look um, a bit different to the version you get your hands on. However, all the menus when you find them should, should be operating in quite a similar way. When you create a, a new project, and go into your project settings and in the coordinate system tab we want to set your default here so main defaults is WGS 1984 so I want to change that so just click and change when you do for the first time it will populate a list of coordinate systems you are going searching for United Kingdom and when you do you'll have a few options you're either going to be selecting OSTN02 um, which I know your current job is on in, in your current operating system. However, going forward, it may be that you need to select OSTN15 for that. And you'll see that it remembers recently used ones, so you don't need to go search for them every time. And it will show in here, just to confirm that. So now we're ready to bring in the triangulation that we did earlier. You can go via import and go searching through your computer and importing the the data that way. I find the easiest way is just to drag and drop onto the working space. So get your data, select and drop it in there. It wouldn't take too long to come in, just a few seconds. So at this point, although we have a triangulated um, surface, we still need to generate it as a surface in TBC. 
So I have a Surface tab here. It may be that your version is a data prep tab or maybe just a data tab, but wherever it is, it will be just a simple create Surface button. So when you click on that, you're going to have this panel down the right hand side. So what do you want your Surface to be called? So with your formation model, Surface classification, just leave it as unclassified. You, you could classify it, we don't have to at this point. Color, color will be what your driver sees um, on site if we keep the triangulation on, but nine times out of 10, we're going to actually try and turn the triangulation, the triangulated surface off. So it doesn't really matter what color it is. Um, if you are wanting to change it, there's some nice colors in there. So survey date, doesn't matter. The, the thing we're interested in here is the members to the surface. So currently not, none of this is on the surface. So we go options, select all. It gets highlighted, but you'll see there's these 13,000 objects now in, in the surface. So we just hit apply and that is going to generate the surface in TBC for us. So once we do that, we can basically OK it, go back to our project folder, and then straight into export. When we go to export, we'll have a new panel, and you'll have various tabs along the top here. And we are always going to be working in the construction tab. And from the list, you should first navigate to Machine Job Site Design Exporter. So there are two files we want to save here. One is the SVB which will be the design, the surface, the triangulation. And the second file is the SVL. So if you think of L for 3D line work. So SVB for design, SVL for the line work. If we only import the SVD being the design surface, when the driver is using it on site, it's not going to be a very nice visual for them. Yes, they'll have their heights and they'll have a rough idea of where the site is, but all they'll be looking at is a sort of triangulated mesh, which really isn't very fun for them. So by introducing the SVL, we're giving them the line work of the site. So effectively, we, we're giving them a site plan. So we'll turn the triangles off and they just have the lines of the, the road, the roundabouts, the plots, whatever it is that we import for them. So model type surface. Um, in surface here, we actually need to select the one that we've just created. So click on that and choose formation model. And um, objects to add or remove, we can add them all. So just select all. And then the file name, this is what would actually be displayed when you, you put it in the system. So let's go formation model again. And you want to click the three dots here, open that up. And then where do you want to save it? So I want to save it. Let's go to perfect. Just take a few seconds. Once you've saved it, we have this um, controller software version, the, the system that's in hire from ourselves, the G, uh, GCS 900 that you're using, 11.1 is perfect for it. So just keep it on that. It may be as time goes on, if we get newer systems out on site, we want to change the software version, but 11.1 will work. And um, so basically we just export that now and it will export it to the folder destination that we, we selected a second ago. Um, notice here there's a tick box, close command after export. Um, I should really have unticked that because as soon as this is exported, I want to take out um, another file being my SVL. So it really depends if, you, if you're if you only taking out your design and your, your line work. But now I need to go back into export. I'll get the same panel. But this time, just below Design Exporter, I'm taking out my Site Map Exporter, which is my line work. So you'll see straight here, SVL. Um, file name. I got this one, 3D Lines. Where do you want to save it to? 
we'll put it in the same place. Um, our version and everything's still the same. We just go straight to export. So once we have these two files, it's just important we then put them in the correct folder. So for the system you're using, we have the overall machine control data folder. Inside the machine control data folder, we have the all folder. And inside the all folder, there should be two additional folders, one with your project name. In that project name folder, you want to save your SVD your SVL and the calibration file that you have. And then in the second folder, that should be called geodata. And I think I mentioned to you earlier, geodata is all, all one word. And um, in the geodata folder, you want your um, calibration file, your SGF and your GGF files. Okay. Um, 